Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators Theory. In today's video, we will see how to create a sky replacement effect in Filmora. But before starting this tutorial, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora, then make sure you download it from the link in the description below. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow for more Filmora related tutorials. So let's get started with the tutorial. As you can see, I am already into Filmora and here I have uh, three different videos already added into my timeline. So what I will do first, so, so what we'll do, we'll create do the sky change effect for two of these videos that you saw in the intro as well. So here is uh, one of the videos which is of uh, a pristine, pristine area of maybe like somewhere like uh, Thailand or somewhere like that. And this is another video of a city. Let me just, let us just get back over here as you can see. If I roll through over here, you can see this entire city over here. So for both of these, you can see there is a different sky. Now let me bring the third video which I will be overlapping and masking it along with this video which is this which has a completely different sky as compared to these. This is the night scene as compared to this which is a morning and early morning and a morning scene. So what I will do first of all let me just bring so as you can see it is in my first uh, timeline so I will just bring first track I will bring it in the second track both of these and I will bring this video in the track below. Now for this video what I will do if you see I am scrolling through the first video now what I will do I will double click on it and here we'll go into the mask so we earlier had a mask option which we had to go to effects and then bring it down but now it is directly implemented through selecting or double clicking on the video itself now here I will select the single line option and you can see the mask is already being effect being uh, seeing the effect of it I will just rotate it at 90 degrees and so you can see I am using my mouse to rotate it but there is an uh, option below as well if you just scroll down you can see there is a 90 degree option you can just type 90 and you will get the exact values so you can see I am using this horizon over here as a leveling field where I will level this and mark this option of mine so about about this value it will be the sky which has been changed so i'm trying to mask that line uh, between and then dividing both the sky earlier and the new one now you can see the down one is still a morning but the up one is a night scene so what i will do you can see there is a gap in the video behind so i will first of all select the video behind video and i will just uh, drag it out maybe a little bit and uh, try to adjust the scene behind as you can see as you can see i've already tried to adjust it and i think it's almost it looks very good and uh, yeah now if i go ahead and play let's see uh, it kind of looks okay but uh, you can see the difference there is a line between both of these so what do you do again you will double click on the top video again go into mask and you can see the mask has been implemented but what we do will increase the blur strength so what this does it provides a blur between both these videos well, blur between the edges of the videos now you can see uh, the video behind as well so let me just go behind you can see yeah i think uh, as you can see there is a tower in between over here and it is also visible for this blur effect now once you're done with this uh, you are happy with the amount of blur you can blur it more but i would suggest you keeping it to around 20 to 25 percent because that's the perfect level of blur that we need and then click on ok and once you're done with that what we'll do we'll double click again and go into color and here what we'll do we'll try to uh, do various uh, variations uh, are in, in temperature we'll increase or uh, we'll, we'll decrease the temperature not increase sorry my bad decrease a little bit because we want a more colder feel because it's a night time and not the morning time where warm is more uh, desirable so but here it is cold so i will just decrease it so make sure the cold matches with the color above and uh, we'll add a tint as well so i'll look for a blue tint over here so if you scroll a little ahead you will be able to find a perfect uh, tint over here then i will decrease the brightness because it's a night scene and we don't uh, really have that much brightness in night so i'll try to decrease it uh, around 60 65 to 60 to 65 percent and you can play around with the contrast and saturation as well now just click on ok now let's just play the video and see how it looks as you can see it tries to perfectly blend with the video below and you are not really able to see any difference 
uh, with the video now let's again go now let's uh, copy the same video below one and i will paste it ahead over here for this video again we'll go ahead with the same uh, masking technique that we used for the first video so we'll go ahead and double click on it we'll go in videos we'll click on mask and again here we'll select the single line mask and you can see the single line over here already available i will just tilt it over here now again you, if you want exact values you can again come here and type 90 and uh, here as you can see i would uh, control c and uh, i will select the video below and i'm trying uh, just with the mask i'm trying to find a uh, uh, leveling field where i can level this so as you can see here is somewhere the leveling field i will mark it over here so here there is not much space uh, there for the sky so as you can see and then we'll keep it over here the leveling field then i will try to uh, blur it blur a little bit uh, as i said around 20 to 25 looks good then i will go into colors and again decrease the brightness of this video below and play around with the saturation uh, as well or uh, maybe saturation decrease a little bit and uh, even the contrast uh, and then i will go around and decrease the overall uh, as you can see this is a kind of looks like a perfect blend uh, if i decrease the temperature and again i will change the tint a little bit over here click on ok now let's just play the video and see how it uh, uh, gels together So as you can see, it's kind of a perfect blend. So in this type of sky replacement, we are using a leveling field where we try to level it uh, horizontally with the straight line, and we try to blur the la blur the edges and try to blend it together. But there are more high, high level masking where we try to mask with custom shapes and sizes, custom shapes uh, of the video. So if you want to so see those kind of videos, then leave a comment below that uh, let's do custom uh, sky replacement so that's it guys with this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this then give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos around creator economy and creators thing and filmora then make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us so that's it guys see you guys in another video till then see ya